12 sets is all you need if you want a very intense workout for your upper body. The workout we will show you in this video consists of 4 exercises. You do pull-ups, body rows, dips and diamond push-ups. Nothing really special until now, but don't worry, we will spice it up a little bit. For every exercise you are doing 3 sets. You first finish the 3 sets of pull-ups with 3 minutes rest in between the sets. After that you are doing 3 sets of body rows with 90 seconds rest in between the sets. You continue with 3 sets of dips, again with 3 minutes rest in between the sets and finish your workout with 3 sets of diamond push-ups with 90 seconds rest in between the sets. When it comes to pull-ups and dips, you should choose a progression which allows you to do between 6 and 12 normal reps. When it comes to body rows and push-ups, you should choose a progression which allows you to do about 15 to 25 normal reps. If you are a beginner and can't do 6 pull-ups or dips yet, do them with a resistance band. If you can do more than 12 reps, use additional weight. When it comes to the body rows and push-ups, you just change the angle if you can't do 15 reps yet. If you can do more than 25 reps, you choose a harder progression like weighted push-ups and body rows or archer push-up and body rows. Now let's take a look at the most important point of this workout, the rep speed. Every of these three sets is different. Let's take pull-ups as an example. In the first set you pull yourself up for 2 seconds and let yourself down for 2 seconds. In the second set you pull yourself up as quick as possible, hold yourself at the top for 2 seconds and let yourself down for 2 seconds. And in the last set you pull yourself up as quick as possible and let yourself down for 1 second. When it comes to body rows the 3 sets look like this. After you finish the pull-ups and the body rows, you continue with dips and finish the workout with push-ups. For the push exercises the rep speed of the 3 different sets stays the same. The only difference is that you add the hold in the second set not at the top like in pull-ups and body rows, but at the bottom. So the 3 sets for the dips and push-ups would look like this. If you want to go a step further and do a complete series of training that is scientifically programmed and gives you a progressive training for several weeks, you should check out our new website with the level programs. They will guide you through the process of getting stronger, building muscle and preparing your connective tissue for the following skill training. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.